Tonight, Indianapolis prepares to host another major college basketball event. News 8, the first to confirm that Lucas Oil Stadium will likely house all games in the Big Ten men's basketball tournament. We're covering the logistics of that move from Chicago and how it will impact Indianapolis. This is good stuff. We'll get to Richard Essex in a moment. First, though, to the man who broke the news. AC joining us once again from Tampa to break it all down. Breaking stories even from thousands of miles away. <laughs> Oh, well, you know, you don't mind breaking stories like this when it affects our community back there in Indianapolis. As you mentioned, big news, major news for the Circle City. Another big event will take place in our city. The men's Big Ten tournament moving from Chicago, coming to Indianapolis. Here's what we're talking about here. Of course, the ladies, their Big Ten tournament already taking place in Indianapolis at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. But now the men joining the ladies. Those games are expected to take take place at Lucas Oil Stadium there in the second week of March. And then you think about this, folks, all this is leading up to selection Sunday that weekend. And then, of course, Indianapolis is the host of the entire men's NCAA tournament. So no doubt it is going to be a massive month for basketball, college basketball here in Indianapolis. And let's look at the situation right here, folks. I mean, we know we're dealing with a pandemic right now. And it makes the most sense by the NCAA and the Big Ten to have those teams right there centered in Indianapolis because once they're done playing the Big Ten tournament, then all they have to do is get ready to get set to play in the NCAA tournament for those teams that qualify for the Big Dance. So big news here for Indianapolis. And, of course, we'll have much more on this story from a sports perspective, of course, coming up later here on News 8 at 5. All right, looking forward to it, AC. Thank you very much. Now let's get to downtown to Richard Essex with reaction to the tournament coming back to Indianapolis. Richard. Well, in a normal year, the men's Big Ten basketball tournament would generate about $12 million in revenue for the city of Indianapolis and have about 97 million people watching either online or on TV. It's unclear whether the fans will be allowed inside Lucas Oil Stadium for this tournament, but it does guarantee one thing. Indianapolis will be at the center of the basketball world. Lucas Oil Stadium is expected to be the choice venue to host the 2021 Men's Big Ten Basketball Tournament in March. Bankers Life Fieldhouse is hosting the women's tournament during the same week. The news that the Big Ten was moving the men's tournament from Chicago back to Indianapolis came as a pleasant surprise to Terry Anthony, the owner of the Block Bar and Grill on Market Street, which is scheduled to open for business this weekend. Yeah, that's, that's, that's big for the economy. That's big for, for, for Hoosiers everywhere. I mean, it lets us know that Indianapolis is back open. Indianapolis is the convention city that it always has been, even after the coronavirus. And uh, when you see tournaments like that making a decision to come back to the city, that's huge for retailers like myself. Starting in the second week of March, Indianapolis is going to be the center of the basketball world. All 14 teams from the Big Ten Conference will have both their men's and women's programs in the capital city, followed by all 68 teams in the NCAA tournament. It is unclear why the Big Ten chose to move the tournament from Chicago back to Indianapolis. Chicago's COVID restrictions currently do not allow fans at games, while Indianapolis does, including newly expanded crowds at Pacer Game. For Anthony, regardless if fans are allowed into the games and eventually into his restaurant, there will be a lot of eyeballs on the city of Indianapolis. The biggest thing with, with college is, is those fans, whether you can get in the game or not, love to come to that city. They love to just experience that. Uh, when we think back when we've hosted the Big Ten football tournament and what it looked like on Maryland Street and people just flooding into different retailers, that's huge for the city, that's huge for the Big Ten, that's huge for um, the retailers that have been dying to get back to something pre-COVID. Four days after the end of the men's, the Big Ten men's basketball tournament, the NCAA tournament starts, which gives Indianapolis almost a solid month of basketball here in the capital city. And regardless if fans are allowed inside of any of these games, retailers here in downtown Indianapolis, matter of fact, just about everybody in downtown Indianapolis will welcome anybody into downtown. In downtown Indianapolis, Richard Essex, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook. Richard, thank you very much. Our coverage continues online there. You can find the dates of all the tournaments being hosted in Indianapolis this spring, plus the host sites across the state for the NCAA March Madness Tournament. That's all right now at WishTV.com.